For months, Voyager 1 had gone silent. The spacecraft, older than the internet itself, had stopped talking to us. Fifteen billion miles from Earth, it drifted in absolute silence. No signals, no data, just an empty hush that felt endless. Scientists feared the worst. Maybe our farthest explorer had finally died out there in the dark. Then, against all odds, a faint whisper returned. It wasn't just a normal status check. What came through the static cracked open everything we thought we knew about space. We had always imagined the void beyond the sun as quiet and empty. But Voyager's new data said otherwise. Out there, beyond the reach of sunlight, space is alive. When Voyager 1 crossed the helipause in 2012, it became the first human-made object to leave the sun's protective bubble. Many assumed it would drift into an endless stillness. But in April 2024, after months of scrambled signals, Voyager came back online. And what it began to send back stunned scientists across the world. Space beyond the heliosphere isn't silent at all. It hums. A steady, low vibration fills the void like a heartbeat echoing through the stars. Voyager's plasma wave instrument picked up a faint hum from the interstellar medium, proof that even the emptiness between stars is full of energy and motion. Alongside the hum were sudden spikes in density and pressure, bursts of energy like shock waves left behind by dying stars. Voyager was moving through layers of ancient memories, the leftovers of supernovas that had exploded millions of years ago. It wasn't gliding through nothing. It was swimming through history. Interstellar space turned out to be like an invisible ocean. Voyager's sensors began painting a picture of swirling currents, pressure waves, and unseen tides. Its magnetometer detected something even stranger, a sudden twist in the galactic magnetic field, like two invisible plates grinding together. It hinted that the galaxy might have a hidden structure, a magnetic skeleton shaping where matter flows and stars are born. Some regions seemed to block cosmic rays, while others funneled them like rivers of radiation. Voyager had crossed one of these invisible borders, and the change was instant. The readings jumped sharply, as if it had stepped from one world into another. Scientists realized that the edge of our solar system isn't smooth, it's jagged and sharp, like a cliff. In late 2023, it seemed Voyager's mission was over for good. The signals were so corrupted that nothing made sense. But NASA engineers refused to give up. They discovered the cause. A damaged memory chip, likely struck by a cosmic ray. From billions of miles away, they carefully rewired the spacecraft's systems, rerouting commands to an old backup chip. Each instruction took 22 hours to reach Voyager. It was a delicate operation, like performing surgery on a 50-year-old machine floating in the dark. Yet it worked. By April 2024, Voyager was alive again, its instruments slowly coming back to life one by one. What it began sending was more than just data, it was a map, the first of its kind. Voyager's readings are helping scientists create a kind of galactic GPS. Not for traveling between planets, but for navigating through radiation zones, magnetic fields, and invisible clouds. The probe has already passed through several interstellar clouds, each with different densities, temperatures, and magnetic patterns. One day, this knowledge might help future spacecraft travel safely between stars, following natural shields of magnetism to protect themselves from deadly radiation. Voyager's discoveries might even reveal how new stars form, how clouds of gas and plasma gather and collapse under invisible forces to ignite new light in the dark. We used to believe interstellar space was empty. Now we know it has weather. Voyager's instruments record changes in temperature, density, and energy as if the spacecraft were gliding through invisible storms. These aren't random. They form patterns and boundaries, separating vast cloudlets shaped by the deaths of long-gone stars. 
Voyager is now exploring the edges of something vast called the Local Bubble, a huge cavity in space carved out by ancient supernovas. Its readings show sudden distortions in magnetic fields and density, like ripples left behind after a cosmic explosion. These scars are the marks of stellar destruction that once shaped our part of the galaxy. Out there, silence doesn't exist. Voyager's sensors hear continuous, low-frequency sounds echoing across the interstellar medium. They aren't sounds in the way we hear them, but vibrations, resonances that reveal the hidden rhythm of space. Some scientists think this constant hum could be how the galaxy organizes itself, a kind of magnetic music holding everything together. Voyager's data is redrawing our picture of the Milky Way. The edge of our solar system isn't the end. It's just the beginning. Every pulse Voyager detects, every filament it maps, tells a story written across billions of years. It's showing us that the real frontier isn't distance, it's understanding. We were never meant to stop at the edge of our world. We were meant to keep listening, keep reaching, and keep learning. So when you look up at the night sky, Remember this. Far beyond the planets, a small spacecraft is still out there. Still listening. Still mapping the unseen bones of the galaxy. And through its lonely journey, it reminds us that the universe is not silent, it's speaking, and we're finally learning to hear it. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.